exactly is a family nurse practitioner? What do they do? And how do you become one? If you've ever wondered that, stick around in this video. I'm gonna answer all those questions and a couple more. Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Liz. I'm a pediatric nurse, a recent family nurse practitioner grad, and I make YouTube videos about those things. So if you have an interest in either of those, make sure to subscribe down below and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start really basic. What is a family nurse practitioner? A family nurse practitioner is a registered nurse that went back to school to become an advanced practice registered nurse. What does it mean that you're now an advanced practice registered nurse? It means you can assess and treat. So you can see a patient, you can diagnose them, and you can offer a treatment plan. So prescribe medications, physical therapy, refer them to a specialist, and so on. This differs from in nursing where you can kind of assess the patient in that you recognize something is wrong, but you don't have the power to actually diagnose them and come up with a, your own treatment plan. Family nurse practitioners tr typically provide primary care in an outpatient setting, such as a clinic, a family practice, something like that. The focus of a family nurse practitioner is disease prevention, screening for diseases, and disease management, whether that's acute or a chronic disease. Additionally, nurse practitioners are expected to provide patient education and anticipatory guidance, which is basically just saying like, hey, these are things to watch out for. Or for example, when your child's developing, you could say, these are the milestones they should be hitting soon. Watch for them and make sure it happens. Family nurse practitioners provide care to any age, really. They can provide care to expectant mothers, all the way through the end of the lifespan. So a typical thing I heard when I got into NP school was womb to tomb, and that kind of made me laugh, and that pretty well covers what you could do as a family nurse practitioner. Granted, I would say that even though you are allowed to take care of pregnant women and be the care provider for her and the baby, most people traditionally as an FNP, unless you are going into that specialty, do not usually do that in their family practice unless you're in a rural clinic. Usually you would be referred to a midwife, an OB, someone who's that's their thing. You know what I mean? I know when I had my baby, I wanted someone to look at her where it was like, that's your thing, you know? You do not deliver babies though. So you can take care of them when they're in here and out here, but that middle phase, mm -mm, none of that. No, you need a midwife or an OBGYN. A question I get asked a lot is, can you practice independently as a family nurse practitioner? And that completely depends on the state that you live in. So about half of the states right now in 2018 allow you to practice independently. And half the states have some kind of physician oversight, whether it's just for scheduled drugs or for everything you write. So what are some of the things you're kind of going to be expected to do as a family nurse practitioner? You're going to be expected to see patients for acute visits. That's something like, oh, I have an ear infection. You're going to be expected to see patients on a chronic basis. So your primary care. So someone who's coming in every few months to have their diabetes checked up on. Order medication, order testing that needs to be done, such as x-rays or ultrasounds. Refer to specialists when needed. Say you came in, broke your leg. Primary care is probably not going to deal with that. You'll go to an orthopedic surgeon, send them over to physical therapy if they need that. Basically the things that your primary care provider would do. Next, we'll look at what procedures you can perform as a family nurse practitioner. So the technical answer here is you can perform anything that you've been trained and tested off to do. In most family nurse practitioner programs, they're going to make sure you know how to suture, which is when someone gets stitches, staple when you need some. Usually if you cut your head, you're going to get staples how to do nerve blocks in your finger so that you can numb someone so that they can get stitches, and how to do an incision and drainage or an IND if someone comes in with an infected pustule or something that needs to be drained, opened, and cleaned if it's infected. Those are the things that are usually covered in almost every nurse practitioner program where they've tested you off and you're good. Now, I know a lot of people that have gone to other conferences or training courses. They have little like courses where you can go and they teach you exactly how to like insert an IUD or do one of that explanon in your arm for birth control, do joint injections, really whatever you are trained for and are able to competently do and you've been signed off for, you can do. So it really just depends on what you've been trained to do and if you've been checked off on it. Third thing we're gonna talk about is what kind of education is needed in order to become a family nurse practitioner. In order to become an FNP, you are going to either need a master's degree or a doctorate degree. So your master's would be your master's of science in nursing, your MSN, and your doctorate would be a DNP doctorate in nursing practice, not your PhD. Things are moving towards going to the doctorate, which is usually one additional year of schooling 
And that, I think by 2021 or 23, they want everyone to be, everyone going into a program to be a doctorate program. And I think eventually we're going to see most people doing an MSN to DNP transition program to get everybody up to the doctorate level. But we're not quite there yet. So at this point, you can still enter into MSN programs. That's what I just graduated from was a master's program. The master's programs are usually two years full time, three years part time, and doctorate programs are three years full time, four years part time. In terms of clinical hours, you're gonna do about 700, 750 of those. The minimum is 700. If you're going for your doctorate, it's usually 700 in the clinic and 300 doing your research project. So not necessarily direct patient care, but doing your research, which usually involves patients and all sorts of data collection anyway. So there's two different paths you can take in order to become a nurse practitioner. You can enter into an NP program, already having your bachelor's of science in nursing, a BSN, working as a nurse and then you decide, hey, I wanna go and do this and you would do a MSN program, the traditional one. That's you're already a nurse, you have your BSN and you're gonna go get your master's or your doctorate, either one. The other course is what they're kind of rolling out with and more and more places are coming out with them is you go in with a bachelor's but it does not have to be in nursing. You collect your prerequisites and then you enter one of these programs and they get you your RN along the way and you graduate with either your doctorate or your MSN as a nurse practitioner. So again, you would start with your bachelor's in something, but not necessarily nursing. You're not a nurse when you go into it and you come out a nurse practitioner because you pick up your RN license along the way by taking your NCLEX. I did the first option, so that's something I'm definitely way more knowledgeable about. If you guys have done a program where you started with a non-nursing bachelor's, and got your master's or your DNP and did that program to become a nurse practitioner, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to pick your brain because I wanna know more about those because I really don't know a lot, I'll be honest. Okay, so then what? Let's say you went to get your master's. You're me. You just graduated with your master's with a family nurse practitioner concentration. Now you need to take a boards exam in order to kind of like your NCLEX where you take it and they say, yep, you kind of learned something along the way, or at least I hope. Your options for the FNP boards exams are the AANP or the ANCC. And to see the difference between the two of those, I've made a video and I'll link it up here and it kind of explains which boards exam to take. It's weird that you have options, but whatever. They both will get you certified as a family nurse practitioner. After you take your boards exam, you get licensed in your state, whatever requirements they have. And then you can go on and get your DEA license. When you get a job, you'll get credentialed at your location through the insurance companies and yada, 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 yada. Eight million other things that you have to pay for, but we'll worry about that later. How much does it cost to become an FNP? So I'm just gonna go in saying you're getting your master's and you already have your bachelor's because that's the thing I know the most about. It's usually about a thousand dollars a credit hour and they're usually about 45 credits. So. 45,000 ish. You can get scholarships. I've seen them be cheaper and I've seen schools be much more expensive depending on if you're going to like a private institution or something. I went to a state school. So a thousand dollars a credit hour is pretty standard. A lot of employers will pay for some. So my employer paid for about a third of my tuition. Some will pay for all of your tuition in exchange for, Hey, you have to work for us for two years after. That's an awesome deal. If you have that totally go for that. And there are scholarships available. You just have to be really rigorous about applying to a bunch of them in hopes that you get, you know, that one or two that you can get. How much do nurse practitioners usually make? That's a good question. Cause you're like, I'm going through all of this. I hope I make some money. I'm just gonna go out and say it. Don't become an NP for the extra money cause it's really not that much more money than being a registered nurse, to be honest. So usually new grad FNPs make between 80 and $100,000 a year, depending on where you live. Obviously places with higher cost of living, you're probably gonna make a little bit more and other areas where the cost of living is lower, you're gonna be more on that lower end. In terms of nurse practitioners, FNPs are not super high on like the rung of how much you get paid. APRNs, the advanced practice registered nurses, obviously the nurse anesthetist, they're at the very top. And then acute care usually makes a little bit more money. They're working more weekends, they're working nights. Family practice, you get the perks of being family practice. It's usually more traditional hours. You get holidays, weekends, nights off. So you get paid a little less. So just keep that in mind. But again, really, if you're looking at it a lot of places, the pay gradient between a registered nurse and a nurse practitioner isn't like colossal, you know? I mean, it's there, but it's not like huge. Where do family nurse practitioners usually work? FNPs usually work in family practices, urgent cares, minute clinics, or specialty outpatient 
clinics such as like a breast cancer center, endocrinologist, gastroenterologist, something like that. All right, I think that about wraps up my summary of the family nurse practitioner role. Time for our question of the day. Question is, what do you wanna be as your like end goal career? I wanna be one of those people that works in the family practice clinic that they just come to for like everything. They're like, oh my gosh, Liz has worked here for so long and she just knows the most random junk. I wanna be that like mysterious old lady that works in the corner of the office, you know, sitting back there with like your tea, where they're kinda of like, that's where Liz is. She knows a lot, but she's kinda of weird. That's kinda of what I wanna be. So let me know what your ultimate career goal would be down in the comments below. And if you wanna be an FNP, make sure to list that down in there too. Cause I mean, obviously everyone should be a family nurse practitioner, except wait a couple years cause I need to find a job first and then you can go be one. Just kidding. There's so many great roles out there for seriously everything. Nursing is insane how many jobs there are. And there's, I guess there's other professions that are also decent other than nursing, oh, if I must admit. All right guys, thanks for watching my synopsis of the nurse practitioner role. Again, if you guys are new and wanna see more videos like this, I make two to three videos a week. I'm documenting my educational and career journey here on YouTube and would absolutely love for you to be part of that adventure. Make sure to hit the little bell so you know when new videos come out. And if you have any questions at all about the FNP role, about nursing, anything, make sure to let me know down in the comments and I will try to clear that up for you. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I will see you later on in the week.